and welcome to Seymour Presents. Tonight, our movie is Man-Made Monster, with your host, that master of the macabre, the epitome of evil, the most sinister man to crawl on the face of the earth, just returned from the San Diego Comics Convention, here's Seymour! I was trying to say, I'm not coming through that wall anymore with all that smoke. Yes, that's true. I spent three delightful days at the comics convention in San Diego. It certainly was worthwhile, and I look forward to the next one. Now, the movie Excuse you are about Excuse me, to... Mr. Seymour. What is it, Jajensky? Where are the jokes? What jokes? All the new jokes you picked up at the convention. You know, from Don Adams and Milton Berle and Don Rickles. They must have been there. Yeah, Chesky, not that kind of comics. This kind of comics. These books are really something, Chesky. You remember these. Good stories, great artwork, swell things you can send away for, too. Like, uh, let me see here. Ah, here is one. <laughs> Amaze your friends, Chesky. Find out what they're saying about you without their knowledge. Send for your Inviso ring. Batteries not included. Mail 29 cents to Inviso Ring, Box 4, Buffalo, New York. It's that kind of... Can I have that address again, Mr. Seymour? I'd like to send for one. No need, Eugenski. They had some Inviso Rings for sale at the convention, and I brought you one as a little gift. Oh, boy, Mr. Seymour. How does it work? How long does it take you to become invisible? How does it work, Eugenski? It is a ring. You put it on your finger. But it's just pretend. You pretend you're invisible. What, Mr. Seymour? Uh, when I put on the ring, pretend I'm invisible now, all right? Now watch this. Ring right on there. Uh, Mr. Seymour? What is it? Uh, Mr. Seymour? What do you want, you Mr. Seymour? Well, what is it? Mr. S Maybe you're wondering what kind of people go to conventions like the one I attended in San Diego. Well, just your ordinary fun lovers with a common interest. I shot some film that will give you an idea of the turnout. <clears throat> Hello, Proj. Run that film I shot at the convention, please. Yes, you know the one. As you can see, there were a lot of people there. The usual late arrival came in Sunday evening. But the best fun was Sunday brunch with the officers of the convention. Saucered and blowed. Fantastic. Yes? Thank you, Proj. There they were, and there were over 1,000 in attendance. But now it's time to get back to the next exciting segment of Man-Made Monster. Proj, go ahead and roll the feature. Very good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Wrong. Stop the projector. Proj, cool it there. Trudge, the comics convention is over. Now just roll the feature like I asked you to do. The feature, Trudge. Everybody's waiting, Trudge. Roll the feature, please. Wait a minute, you're showing the numbers. You're not supposed to show the numbers. Never mind. Just go to commercial till you get yourself straightened out. Unbelievable. Mr. Regus is slowly but surely transforming Dan into a walking storage battery. But Dan doesn't even notice. All he can think about are the fringe benefits of his new job. Three squares a day, a place to stay rent-free, and plenty of free time to play with Corky. Now, Dr. Lawrence is still away at the medical convention. Now, we know what he's up to. So Dr. Regus is working frantically to finish his experiments before Dr. Lawrence gets back. He keeps throwing juice into Dan and seems unconcerned about the increasing danger. If Dan gets fried to a crisp, what does Dr. Regus care? He can always get a job with a symphony. Playing his kettle drum. Uh oh Well, Fringies, I met a lot of swell people at the convention, and I had a good time. But more important, I thought of another surefire method to crash that party down the block here. Listen to them. Listen to them whooping it up. It's disgusting. But it sounds like fun. While I was in San Diego... I did a lot of people watching, and the first night I was there, 
There were these two girls at the registration. Well, that's another story. Anyway, I noticed that there were some people who moved freely from one convention room to another, who got the best seats, and who never had to wait in line. They got in anywhere. Their secret? The right attire. Now, I'll wear this neat disguise. Little Hawaiian shirt, sunglasses, a little name tag, this stack of comic books, and for the piece de la resistance, I'll carry the one thing that makes the other conventioners think they work on a committee. Little reel of film. Praj picked that one out at random. It doesn't matter what it is. People will think it's a Superman cartoon or Captain Marvel. When they answer the door and they see me with this can of film, they'll think I'm going to show the next attraction and invite me right in. Now, while they're off looking for the projector and the screen, I'll slip out of this neat disguise, mingle with the guests, and they'll never be the wiser. You people can go back to watching this monster. I'm going to get ready to go to a party. People, uh, will somebody please call the fire marshal? Well, there's nine people in the phone booth, and one of them is trying to light a cigarette. Please keep the aisles clear. We'll have to close the convention. Yes, ma'am. The Star Trek Cooper film will be shown in room B12. And in the parking lot, the kitchen, the laundry room, in the hall, the lobby, and the men's room. It's already been shown in the ladies' room. All right. Ha, ha. Fooled you again, didn't I? You thought I was a convention chairman. And so will those people down the block. So long, boys. I'm off to the party. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what do you want? Hi. I'm with the convention committee, and I wonder if you'd like to see the Star Trek blooper film? <laughs> oh, boy, come on in. Hey, guys, you want to see the blooper film? The projector's all set up. Give me that reel of film. No, 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 wait a minute. You're supposed to go set up the projector and leave me alone for a minute. You understand? No, no, give me that reel back, please. Hey, hold it. You don't understand. This wait isn't a minute. blooper film. It's the astounding sea monster. What? No, that's wrong. There's only one guy in the show, that bomb. Who's that? And that's Seymour. Who's he? Hey, guys, it's that party crasher oh, again. I'm with Throw him in the mouth. Get your hands off my Hawaii shirt. Wait. Party crasher again. Oh, God. Not the blooper. Not the blooper film. The astounding she-monster? That's a blooper film if I've ever seen one. 